everybody, Rianne here from Loose Baby Weight and today we're talking to Vix from Mama Moves about exercise post-baby and how to shape up and get your pre-pregnancy body back. So Vix, thank you for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. Good. Um, what, in your experience, you know, working with mums, um, what's the biggest kind of hurdle people kind of have in actually getting fit after baby? Okay, well the biggest hurdle would obviously be energy. Yeah. Um, lack of sleep. Yeah. So um, their first priority is obviously their baby yeah. and tending to baby's needs. So exercise goes way, way, way back yeah. down, yeah. Um, down the agenda, um, where really it should be quite a priority because the benefits that you would receive yeah. from just exercising yeah. um, just flow on to, yeah. to, to your family yeah. and uh, to everything around you. Your energy levels will increase. Yeah. Your motivation to do anything yeah. will increase. Yeah. The endorphin release to give yeah. you um, a much better mood um, yeah. will increase. Yeah. So the benefits are actually yeah. endless. It's yeah. just a matter of uh, not necessarily prioritizing, yeah. but scheduling some, some time yeah. to yourself yeah. uh, to incorporate exercise. And it doesn't have to be um, a long period of yeah. time. It could be 15 minutes a day. Yeah. Um, but as long as you do something, get active, get the blood flow through the yeah. working muscles, get the endorphins released, um, that will help yeah. a lot. Yeah. And what's kind of, you know, I suppose the ideal time to start exercising? Because, I mean, for me, I started walking um, straight, probably, probably about four days after I came home, wow. I started walking. Yep, that's because awesome. I felt fine, I didn't have a difficult... <laughs> that bend, <laughs> awesome! <laughs> but when, when would you advise, you know, obviously getting clearance from a doctor if you've had That's what I was going to say. Like that, yeah. But... yeah, I was going to say, once you've had clearance from your doctor, it also depends on, on yourself as yeah. an individual. Um, were yeah. you fit? Did you have yeah. a history of exercise prior to yeah. um, having the barb? So if you've got a history of exercise, yeah. um, you're probably well conditioned already. Yeah and you'd probably be able to jump back into exercise yeah. much quicker than someone that hasn't exercised yeah. prior to being pregnant yeah. or through their pregnancy. Um, so it is definitely an individual thing. If you're feeling capable of doing um, some exercise, I would strongly suggest doing yeah. it. Um, walking is great, yeah. um, but there's a lot of body conditioning exercises yeah. that you can do at yeah. home that will take maybe 15 minutes yeah. while Bubby's sleeping or incorporating the bar, which I'll show you today. Um, these exercises, um, I call them body conditioning because yeah. what it is, it's using your own body weight as resistance okay now the more lean muscle tissue one has in their body yeah. the more efficient you are at burning yeah. body fat so if you were going to oh, say I, I want to burn fat off my tummy or I want to burn fat off my butt yeah. um, you won't spot reduce but yeah. it will overall help burn body fat in all the areas um, yeah. Usually it's the one area that, that has yeah. the most body fat will come off last, yeah. but it will happen. Because I think that's a, you know, a really common question that yes. certainly I get through loose baby weight is, how can I get rid of that tummy fat? Yep. It's just that you can't spot fat removal. You can't. But there no. are ways to actually speed everything up. Absolutely. And show us today. Absolutely, yes. Perfect. And as I said, it won't take long. Yes. And as you uh, get stronger and you yeah. get fitter, you can then start to um, progress to the next level. And yeah. that would be, instead of just using body weight, maybe getting some dumbbells yeah. and um, doing some exercise dumbbells yeah. which we may do on yeah. another another day yeah. um, so um, I'll, I'll show you some exercises Wait, that you can do yeah. um, the first thing I wanted to say is when you're coming to do some sort of body resistance exercise large muscle groups yeah. are the way to go okay. so you want to do exercises that are going to target the whole body preferably maybe two two muscle groups per exercise yeah. so um, I'll show you a few different exercises that you can do with the bum okay. um, how do you want it well why don't you just stand on the mat we'll just start with some leg exercises yeah. So um, just having your feet wide turned out so that you um, turn your toes out to a 45 degree angle, a little bit wider in your stance, just so that we want to uh, we want to uh, tuck it in on the outside, okay. yep. and you want to come down to a nice easy squat with your tummy tight, up and down. So you're going to breathe out as you come up, and you're going to inhale as you go down. So nice and low, getting down nice, and that's it. And you want to stick your butt out just like you're about to sit on the um, seat. So you want to focus on nice back straight. Tummies in, shoulders down, chest up, and holding the bub. Now, let's say you were going to do, I don't know, 30 repetitions, nice yeah. high reps. Maybe hold bub on the left side, yeah. 15, swap sides. You don't want to be holding the bub on one side yeah. the whole time, um, just to even everything out, or even better, centered. Yes. Okay, so you want to come up and down, just doing squats yeah. like that. Squats uh, target the thigh and the butt. Yeah. Now, it targets that area, but because yeah. it's a large muscle group, yeah. it takes a lot of energy. Um, and to blood flow to, correct. Yeah. So cool. in, in, in overall, yeah. you're going to burn body fat yeah. on all areas of the body, right. even though it is that. targeting yeah. and toning up the butt and the thigh. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so we've hit the lower body. Yeah. Let's get down to the floor and do some okay. upper body core okay. work. So I'm going to get you on your back, uh, uh, Bubby on, on his back, <laughs> and you're going to lean over him on all fours. So a nice wide grip. So your wrists want to be under the shoulders, back straight, belly in. Now what you're going to do is I'm going to get you to now just push your knees a bit further away from the body so that you're in a plank position. Now, this is more of a modified position here. If you wanted to take it to the next level, just lift your knees off the floor into the toes position. Okay, so you've got this option, or you've got drop the knees down, this option. We're going to start with this option first, just to see how you go with your strength. So what I'm going to get you to do is basically come down into a push-up, kiss your bubs on the forehead, come back up. Now I'm going to get you to come down onto both forearms. So left forearm down, right forearm down, then back up onto the hands, and now do another push-up. Good. Left shot position. Now from there you're just going to slid your knee up towards your chest or your foot to the ground. Yep. And back again. One and two and three. You want to keep the hips down and just walk it in. So it's almost like you're yeah. climbing the mountain. Yeah. I think it's kind of like it, can't we? Well, let's try that one. Again, that's strengthening the upper body while you're strengthening the core. That's it. Beautiful. Perfect. So you always want to make sure you pull forward over your hands. That's it. Keeping the hips down. Clean him like that. All right, so this is the hip bridges. So um, your head's going to stay down and your arms down or hold, hold on to him. So what you're going to do is you're going to breathe out as you tuck your pelvis and lift your hips all the way up. Good. Look at that. Take a deep breath in and then you exhale as you roll back down. So what this is working is you breathe out, lift and then slowly back down. What this is working is definitely going to be strengthening the butt yes. and the back of the legs, which everybody wants. But at the same time, it's also strengthening the core. Yeah. Okay. So the breath pattern is also really important. Breathing out and releasing on the way down on the inhale. Exhale up. Now I'll show you a little trick. If you want to really yeah. work the inner thighs, yeah. bring the feet together and squeeze the knees together. So keep everything squeezed here and try that again as you breathe out and then back down. So we're actually targeting a little bit of inner thigh as well now. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah? Yeah. Are you enjoying that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. All right, so that's a shoulder bridge. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. The next one, you can take it basically from this position. Yeah. And you're gonna lift the heels up off the floor, if that's okay. Keep the knees bent. So we've got a little back rest for the bubs. And preferably have the head down if possible, just yeah. so that the, there's no strain through the neck. Yeah. And as you breathe out, you want to extend one leg parallel to the ground, and then you inhale back. Other side, breathing out, reach, and then inhale back. This is called a single leg extension. So what this is doing is strengthening the core. And as you reach and point, strength, uh, strengthening the legs as well. But it is mainly a core abdominal yeah, no, exercise. Core, yeah. yeah. So they're just a few body conditioning exercises. I've got all these exercises put together yeah. in a program, which I'm more than happy to give yeah, your listeners great. and your viewers yeah. um, a copy. They just have to write into your yeah, uh, website, great. and I will send that to them. Yeah. Um, the other thing is to remember, apart from all these exercises is uh, three important things for burning yeah. body fat. Yeah. Um, one would be you need to challenge yourself. Yeah. So um, instead of just going for a walk, take that to the next level. Yeah. So maybe walk up some hills or do yeah. some stair work. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, that, um, I would increase the intensity via the surroundings yeah. rather than taking weight on, on yeah. walkers you could into yourself. Okay. Plus it might be a little hard for the bum. Yeah, okay. So um, if you were going to go do some stair work, maybe put the crown at the bottom of the stairs, yeah. do stairs up yeah. and down, up and down, yeah. um, go to some hills, push the pram up yeah. hills, just find things that are going to take the yeah. walk to the next level. Um, or some interval training, jog for one minute, yeah. walk for two minutes. Yeah jog for one minute, walk for two. So that's just one way of challenging uh, yourself through yeah. cardio. Um, another really important factor was the work with the larger muscle groups yeah. rather than the little muscle groups. Yeah. And the third main factor is of course nutrition. Yeah. Okay, So you need to be burning more calories than you're consuming to burn body fat. Yeah. So with those three key points, we're all going to be slim your Hot mamas. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Absolutely. you so much, Vic. I really my appreciate it. And um, Vic's is going to um, have an article for us yes. with all this information.
information in which we'll post up as well. Yeah. Um, so we'll put the link on the website for that as well. Thanks everybody.